Welcome to This Week in West Hempstead, your single source of news and information where we explore and discuss what makes this town tick. This week's podcast is sponsored by Giordano Garden and Nursery. I'm Dan, your podcast producer and announcer. Here are your hosts, Norm Cache and David Kirshner. Take it away, gents. All right, Dan. Thank you so much. And Norm, uh, welcome back uh, for this week's edition. Good to be back. And uh, let's just dive right into the stories and those things that are affecting people in West Hempstead. The b- real big story is inflation and more specifically the price at the pump. It keeps going up, up and away. It doesn't uh, surprise me that people are thinking about it. Last year, this time, we were paying $2.70 a gallon. A week ago, we were paying $3.60. And now we're in the 430 range. It wouldn't surprise anybody if we go north of five. Yeah, it's, it, the prices are crazy. And, you know, even as you look at uh, some of the prices we have posted on westhempstedecho.com, we're looking at prices at uh, 425, 450, 475 just this morning. And uh, no, no end in sight. The, uh, there was a national um, meeting last night uh, between Congress and the Uh, national security threat assessment team. And they're talking about the fact that this could go on for a while. Uh, There there is uh, Putin with his back against the wall. There could be a spillover from Ukraine. And uh, and we could see some disruptions uh, throughout Europe and here. It's, uh, yeah, you know what? I don't know that much about world events. And uh, I I just hope that we can be as uh, energy independent as we can in the future and get away from this situation. I mean, who knows, Uh, you know, you and I remember gas lines uh, in the 70s, odd and even license plates. Um, We'll show our age, but uh, we do remember (laughs) when things go bad, what happens. In 2008, it was uh, $150 a barrel. We're now at 110, so we're headed into some pretty dangerous territory. If you guys probably remember during Sandy, in fact, because of the supply issues, I mean, there were long lines at the gas stations. Half of them didn't have anything to serve either, and uh, now it's just price. Yeah, you know what? I think one of the big differences is going to be electric cars. We see them all over town. Perhaps this is going to be the impetus for people to go out and finally get that electric car, certainly when gas prices go to 6 to $7.00. Who knows? But uh, things have got to change. I think sunnier days are ahead, and this won't last forever. There'll be some months of uh, pain at the pump for everyone. Driving season starting for vacations in the summer. People might have to change their plans considering how much it'll cost. You know, and speaking of uh, sunnier days, let's just talk a little bit about COVID and what's going on in the community. I I think we're done. We have a mandate now to take off the masks. Good. So the number, so COVID's over. No, I, I am not saying that COVID's over. I have no idea. I am not the CDC, but it does really seem like we're at the tail end of this thing and uh, life is uh, getting back to normal. Yeah, actually, if you'll uh, take a look, you'll see that um, the states actually basically ended the mandates. There's still a few things left, uh, mass transit and um, healthcare facilities. And uh, frankly, if businesses choose to keep them on, they can do so. But uh, by and large, it seems to be on its way out. Yeah. And, and it's happening so quickly. Uh, even today, uh, my youngest daughter who goes to City College, they have to go for mandatory uh, testing um, for COVID because, you know, that's the way it was like two months ago. And they just haven't, you know, changed anything. So it, uh, well, it isn't gone completely. And, uh, and we have to be aware of that. So those who haven't gotten vaccinated, you know, Think twice about it because this hasn't disappeared. It's just uh, not impacting our lives the same way. Exactly. You know, let's talk a little bit about March 17th. And uh, outside of it being uh, my my wedding anniversary, uh, it's also St. Patrick's Day. What's yeah, going on? Uh, well, I was in Reister's. Uh, they have all kinds of uh, leprechaun cookies and cakes. And uh, they, they celebrate every holiday. Uh, Purim is coming up for the Jewish community. St. Patrick's Day has green all over this store. It, it's really, it's a pleasure to go in there. Absolutely. And if you go to westhempstedecho.com, you'll be able to link over to Restorers, see all the incredible stuff that they have. And, you know, what a great asset to the community. Truly. And, uh, you know, wrapping up uh, of important stories that are happening around town Let's talk a little bit about my excursion to uh, the Echo Pool the other day. Is it open now? It's open, and uh, it's open to everyone. I didn't see a single person wearing a mask. Um, There were 
I would say about 45 to 50 people in and around the pool. Uh, this was uh, in the afternoon. Um, it was a really nice experience. I mean, I literally had not been there, I think, since before COVID. Uh, the first thing that hit me was how much chlorine smells because I just had not <laughs> been in a pool um, and smelled the chlorine in such a long time. Uh, some things are not open. The uh, um, the workout area and the saunas are still not operational, uh, but the pool was great. It was warm. It was very welcoming. Had a great swim, and uh, looks like things are getting back to normal. That's great. I know they put a lot of money into the locker rooms and the sauna area. Uh, it'll be great when it opens up again, and I, I'm sure it's we're just around the corner from that happening. Yeah, I can't wait. So, uh, you know, I can't wait for everything to open up in, in, in full, you know, Full spectrum, and uh, uh, we should all be 100% back to normal in the coming weeks. Right. Last night they had um, a, a workshop on the budget for the school uh, budget, which is an annual uh, event. Uh, they had a meeting actually on the 1st and the 8th, and uh, we should expect a new budget out in April, and we'll be voting on it again in May. Yeah, it's, it's really going to be interesting to see what happens. I know already on the uh, Facebook sites in uh, West Hempstead, People are starting to buzz up about what's going on. It's a, it's an area that people get very passionate about, and I'm sure we'll be hearing a lot about that in the coming weeks. Yeah, they increased their programming last year, and this year I, I would assume we're going to have to pay more for busing. Uh, fuel costs are way up, and um, somebody's got to pay for it, and I, I would see it on our uh, tax bills. Yeah, unfortunately, as we talk about everything going up, our taxes are going to go all up right along with it. Right. All part of inflation. And I think that's going to do it for uh, this week. Uh, this week's episode, and uh, it was great to uh, be chatting with you, Norm and Dan. Cool. And uh, we look forward with uh, joining all of you next week, same time, same Always channel. Always a pleasure. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Join us next week at WestHempstedEcho.com to sponsor this and other shows. Please reach us at sales at WestHempstedEcho.com.